recently and has been having a big impact and he's a starting five player there. Perhaps looks a bit slight in the court but uh, trust me well up to the hustle and bustle and physical nature of the game. It's later Kenny look to swing it across this match up Temple Oak zone and eventually goes for a three point attempt there from Andrew McGeever but he is off to Matthew Mark. Dini who in turn kicks it out as far as McGeever who drives and it's McGeever who puts up the shot but can't get it to go is Dunn now taking it back out and Kernan driving strong to the basket and kicks it into the corner here is just off the mark from Owen O'Connor Sikki now and Kernan yet for a score to be registered in this under 18 men's national cup final the ball goes inside there to Lynch who dishes it off in turn two Matthew Dini who can't find national the national basketball and I can see under 18 national cup finalist Temple Oak swing the ball around the side and Flood who's primarily a point guard cuts inside on the low post and gets a good luck but misses it and Kernan comes up with the offensive rebound Giever now down the lane looking to add to his tally but not on this occasion an excellent release pass from Flood so good That's at doing that they decide to try their best to execute and it's Flood eventually who takes it on the corner puts it inside to Kernan who Long swing yeah, yeah. looking for the Fantastic. twin combination as far as Keane, but it's cut out. Temple O coming the other way now is Flood leaping Game over the Irish two thirds council. As Sean Flood tries a quick one from the corner and Day will round it off with the 430 meeting of Titans versus team left bank Kilkenny as nice little step under and scoop move there from Ty Kiki. Can't get it to go. Connor puts it up to Arcilla who finishes strong oh. over McGeever and it's Temple Oak now, lead 22 points to 20, two minutes remaining, but Just trying his, his best to answer there. Got his cues slightly wrong on that occasion, and it's now done, it takes back off from Temple Oak. Uh, as I said before, we will try and get our scoreboard back up and working in the second half, but right now it's Kernan at the elbow, who pops the shot not long off, but it's bounced as far as Lynch, who can take it the other way now, and Lynch tries to go against Kernan, but the height of Kernan there, huge. So we're up and running here and I'm happy to say that the Temple Oak group of Wales and Horn seem to have just switched sides so should be just That's as loud as they were in the first half. offense and it's Temple Oak now quick on the fast break and straight away and nice and confident there is Owen O'Connor but he's just off the mark on this occasion and tries his best to stay with the lightning quick speed of Key and Hickey but a lot easier to say that up in the booth here than it is to do it down in the court. It's Hickey, one of the fastest players in the game, perhaps only equaled by his brother, Keane. Flood now sets up the Temple Oak offense and looks like Leather Kenny are in their man to man defense there to start the second half. And an early foul on Lynch against Kernan inside, and Lynch giving up a number of inches to Kernan to Matthew Dini and in turn as far as Keane. Now it's Ty who takes a strong to the basket, but his little right hand running hook doesn't go. And it's Flood now who spins and twists and turns and finds the sliver of daylight. But just off on that occasion, the shot was right in line with us and looked dead on. But distance not where it needed to be as Owen O'Connor gets caught in the corner and does well to get the ball to Kernan and can't finish the basket. To and it's allowed Keane Hickey to take the other way. He's going up against the much bigger Kernan. And Kernan for a big man doing very well, very disciplined. Blood extends the Temple Oak lead now 29-25 and long range effort oh, from Keane Hickey no Temple Oak and 4 minutes 50 remaining as Ty Kiki drives the basket but gets blocked by Kernan. Where's Kenny coming here but it, it doesn't seem to be playing as a factor you know Andrew and the Letter Kenny guys have settled really well into Inside the game. The, you know, you swear the color that the Letter Kenny plays France have brought and the general good spirit to the game so far they've supported their team with has been a Testament to the wall up there and hope that everyone gets home safely after today's game. And Sean Swan to the keeper who's gone out of the game a little bit now, but Thornton with an ambitious up and under move. Not sure that's the shot they were looking for out of the timeout, but perhaps under pressure from the defense and the shot clock situation as Flood now takes the ball up the wing and he's going to come off a ball screen from Kernan very high up the court, probably not his position they wanted. They do reset it closer to the ring now and the ball is dished. There to Sean Brady who finds Kernan on the ring. Oh, his hand is pretty Kernan. hot. Temple Oak now in this matchup zone they put so much faith into. Anchored of course by Kernan right under the basket there. And 
even when there is a slip up, he manages to get the block shot and lob ball into Kernan and that's a point back for Glesson. Down to an eight point lead now with over eight minutes to go as O'Connor turns down the three in the corner and gets inside the Kernan. That was definitely what they were looking for out of that timeout. And certainly uh, two thumbs up from the coach on the Temple Oak bench to O'Connor there for turning down the shot and getting it inside to Kernan. So that's what they wanted as Ty Kiki misses on the three but almost gets his own rebound and now it's Flood taking it the far way and kicks as far as O'Connor and I'd be surprised if he had taken that one after the instructions he got and the game plan is very obvious now as the two James brothers in the sideline pump their fists they know I, how I big think, a I think was. Keen, the fact that O'Connor is giving fakes as well he's pulling the man out he may not be shooting it because his percentages aren't high but he's giving the fake to pull out the man and that's as good as a shot and I have to imagine the Letterkenny plays, uh, players will have to recognize that the game plan right now is go inside to Kernan. And uh, they can't continue to allow him to score. They're going to need to send a double team. It's who you send.